Hi everyone, welcome to researchmd.com. We got a great topic today, and our uh, topic today is um, a number needed to harm. Okay, again, my name is Pramil Chariat, and I work as a program director, internal medicine residency program, transitional residency program, and director of research. I'm also an assistant professor of medicine at Hacken Psycho School of Medicine. So let's go into our topic number needed to harm. How do you define number needed to harm? number of patients who need to be exposed to a risk factor for one patient to be harmed, underline the word harmed. Number needed to harm is a measure of how many people need to be treated or exposed to a risk factor in order for one person to have a particular adverse event. Again, adverse effect, okay? Higher number means safer exposure, so the higher number is better. Now, which formula can be used to calculate? Very simple number needed to harm equals to one divided by attributable risk. Now let's look at how to calculate the attributable risk. You take the risk in the exposed group minus risk in the unexposed group. So the difference between the risk in the exposed group and risk in the unexposed group, that is what attributable risk is. So the formula is one divided by attributable risk, okay? Attributable, attributable risk is the difference in risk between exposed and unexposed groups. So let's look at, start with our first example. If the risk of developing lung cancer in patients who smoke is 25%, and the risk uh, of, in the people who do not smoke is 5%, okay? The first thing, what do we have to do is calculate the attributable risk, which is you take the 25% and minus 5%, that is 20%. Once you get the 20%, we have to convert it into decimal, which is equal to 0 0.2. Now, let's bring our formula, which is number needed to harm is equal to one divided by absolute risk. I'm sorry, one divided by attributable risk. That is equals one divided by 0 0.2. So if we get number is five. On average, every five people that smoke, one person will develop lung cancer, okay? Now, let's do some questions. Assume we have a drug X and a placebo used to prevent cardiovascular adverse effect in a randomized group of participants. In drug X group, 10% had incidence of arrhythmia. In the placebo group, 4% had incidence of arrhythmia. Now, please calculate the number needed to harm. So, we have, uh, let's look at our option. Option A is 34, option B is 25, option C is 17, and option D is 12. Um, please stop for a moment the screen and then please do the calculation. Okay, now let's look at the um, solution for this problem. Attributable risk, that's what we need to calculate first. So 10% minus 4%, so we get 6%. What is the next thing to do? 6% we convert into a decimal, which is actually 0 0.06. And then now bring our uh, formula, number needed to harm is one divided by attributable risk, which is one divided by 0 0.06, and our answer is 17, okay? Now let's look at one more example. Effects of aspirin for primary prevention in person with the diabetes mellitus. In the above study, there is around 15,480 participants were randomly assigned to aspirin and placebo. There is an increased risk of adverse effect to the aspirin group as compared to the placebo group. Uh, on the incidence of major bleeding, um, 30, 314 participants, that's 4.1% per, per, versus 245 patients, which is 3.2%. Okay, so we need to calculate uh, um, the number needed to harm. How do we calculate that? Now, let's look at our answers. We got option A, 100, option B, 111, option C, 120, option D is 128. I'm going to pause for a second. Please take your time and do the calculation. Okay, now let's look at the solution. What's the first thing we have to do? We have to look at the attributable risk. So how do we do that? We take the 4.1% minus 3.2%, we got 0.9%. So once we have the 0.9%, we have to convert that into decimal, which is equal to 0 0.009. So number needed to harm equals one divided by attributable risk, which is one divided by 0 0.009, we got 111, okay? 
So thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, please let us know. Um, please uh, subscribe our channel so we can produce more videos like that. Again, thank you so much.